we're being honest. Not too bad at all. So we don't have anything to do now until the Hall of Fame induction. Penguins made that strap without the first. True. We'll save our game here. And again, get a look at the roster. We're going to have to decide if we want to sign anybody out of the gates, too. Immediately to their ELC. I mean, again, a uh, crap load of center depth. Isaac Rose and Aturatu. Thomas Bordlow is our top prospects. Uh, we do need to get more defensive depth here. Uh, tiebreaker. Technically, we're not at that stage for the Hall of Fame, but yeah, I will try to straw poll it again. All right, we need uh, we need goalies now. After some of the moves that we made there, we have about seventeen million dollars in cap space. But yeah, we only have three goalies signed. So Matt Robinson or Mike Robinson, excuse me. I was thinking of Matt Robson. Uh, we'll sign you to be an AHL option. And then I need one more guy who can be the backup if Ottinger isn't good enough. Which means Grubauer, Morazic, or Hogberg, ideally. Grubauer's looking for four mil, so that's not going to happen. Morazic is looking for four mil, so that's not going to happen. And Marcus Hogberg is looking for 800k. So we'll try to sign Marcus Hogberg to be competition for Ottinger. Defensively, it's Riley, Eckholm, McDonough, Letty, Graves, Pellick. Basically, we need AHL level defensemen. Need AHL level defensemen. Of course, we wheeled and dealed during the draft. Now we got to make up for it. Up, oh, what's happening? Okay, we're fine. Uh, so potential is not going to do much for us. Let's look at ability. And uh, unfortunately, I can't really sort by like, hey, what are your contract demands? Uh, yeah, see how this has definitely improved since four. Definitely improved since four. There's still some things that I have some issues with. Uh, ooh, Mark Andre Gragnani, former Portland Pirate. Yes, please. Seven hundred K, and he wants a no trade clause. You got it, buddy. I will keep Mark andre Gragnani on the AHL squad. Love that, man. Uh, Postma is meh. Let's see if we can bring in Paul Postma as an AHL option. Cody CC? <laughs> uh, who else do we have here? Two and a half, or just two star, I guess. Let me look really quickly. Minimum ability, two star. I don't know why it does that, where it's like, is this their actual ability? There we go. Um, tough call. I mean, Zadorov's going to look for way too much money again. I need AHLers. Christian Juice? 700k? That works for me. Uh, who else could we get here? Two-star option. Nestle Miko Letnin, I guess he didn't uh, I guess he didn't work out there with Toronto. He had 12 points in 46 games. I wanted to give him a shot. I wanted to give Miko Letnin a shot here. That would bring us up to 40. And for the forwards, again, we need some winger depth. Definitely, I mean, just need forward depth in general, but certainly need wingers. Let's see. Who is still available here? So Tanner Pearson is still the creme de la creme of the options here. He wants four, nearly five million bucks. There's just no way. Uh, I do like me some Tyler Ennis. Tyler Ennis for 1.2 mil. Absolutely. Sign all my former Portland Pirates. Matt Calvert wants three million. No way. Nick Felino. Four mil? No, thank you. Wish there was a quicker option instead of right clicking to offer contracts. James Neal's still going to be looking for way too much. Yeah, and a no trade, which is bullshit. Uh, Matthew Perot wanted two mil. That's not going to happen. My girlfriend's favorite player. Don't get Ninja Turtles such. Fair enough. Go, go. Fair enough. Uh, let's re offer Jordan Martinuk a contract. 
Kale Grigorenko. Same thing. Go ahead and offer you a deal again. What about Zach Aston Reese? Million bucks for Zach Aston Reese. See, no reason why we wouldn't do that. Bjugstad, I think, is still going to want too much. Yeah. Right now, we're just going for the budget deals. There's no reason not to. If Armia wants four, that's not going to happen. So we'll at least help our overall team depth. We had that offer out to Gusev. And hopefully he signs. That would be great. What else do we... We still have a lot of two and a half stars here. Mika Salamaki. I'm surprised he's two and a half star. Two million bucks. That's a bit too much for you, buddy. Joachim Nordstrom. Three mil. You're insane. Absolutely insane. Dominic Simone. Still wants four mil. Harland Home. Three mil. Jesus, some of these guys are insane with their offers. Blake Coleman's still going to be looking for like five. That's not going to happen. Ryan Dezingle. Ooh, budget. Budget option for Ryan Dezingle. I like that. Wenberg, probably still going to be looking for too much. Yep. What about Jimmy VC? 1.5 for three years in a no trade. Jimmy VC looking for a no trade is very interesting. And bizarre. To say the least. Do we give Jimmy VC a three year deal? <laughs> Probably not. We'd have to guarantee that he would be on the fourth line and we can't. Alright, so we're going to see if those offers go through first. We will sim to the next day. And keep on marching. I like how this team's playing out so far, though. I think we're in a very, very good spot. Again, there's all of our trades during the draft. Jordan Martinuk rejects. A lot of guys rejecting. We did get Nikita Gusev, though. Which is huge. We got Nikita Gusev for nothing. Jake. Dropping all the information. You'll love to see it. Dude, we just got Nikita Gusev. Who put up 33 points for the Devils last year for under 2 million bucks. And I mean, his playmaking ability? I mean, he might be able to just dominate next year. Have him as a perimeter shooter, a dangler, a speedy forward, an outright playmaker, a counterattacker. Nikita Gusev has been a tremendous option for us in the past. Ooh, here we go. 2022 NHL Draft uh, Evaluation, Billy Luthwaite. The top 32 right now are projected to be Matthew Savoy, Shane Wright, Noma Ostland, Ivan Maroshnichenko, Alexander Legkoff, Brad Lambert, Elias Salmonson, Tristan Deneau, Lane Hudson, and Charlie Golob as the top 10. The Jack Devine, Ty Nelson, Seamus Casey, Simon Nemich, Quinn Finley, Pano Fimis, Max Nemesnikov, Noah Gruder, Maddox Fleming, William Yee, Michael Carvalis, Rutger McGrory, McGrory, I should say, Devin Kaplan, Frank Nazar, Joey Vitreno, Caleb Smith, Patrick Thomas, David Mattis, Dominic DeVincentilis, I think, Michael Lestarza, Jorian Donovan, and Michael Mastro Domenico. So those are the top 32 prospects coming up, and you know, for some reason that just reminded me. Uh, let's take a look at our staff. Take a look at our staff. Because our head coach is apparently Ty Richards. And I want to see if there is anybody else out there who we'd like to have as our head coach. Reputation. Ooh, Gerard Gallant, Peter Laviolette, Daryl Sutter. Also, Rick Tockett, Guy Boucher, Bob Bugner, Adam Oates, Kevin Deneen, DJ Smith, Jeremy Carlton, Paul Coffey, Scott Gomez, Adam Foote. Ooh. Ooh. Gerard Gallant, though, is our head coach. Or Peter Laviolette, for that matter. I like the option on both.
Hmm. Get oats to teach kids how to win face-offs, right? Gerard Gallant. I mean, it's clearly between Gerard Gallant and Peter Laviolette. Clearly. Uh, we are going to fire Ty Richards right now. Ty, I'm sorry. I'm not allowed to fire Ty Richards. Okay, I'm stuck with Ty Richards. Are you kidding me? My owner won't let me fire him. Can I uh, just go to commissioner mode really quickly and that way I can get away with whatever I want? Yes. Let's go ahead and get rid of Ty Richards really quickly. <laughs> so let's hire us a head coach. And clearly... Whoa, 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 whoa. I hit the button way too many times. Clearly. It's got to be Gallant or Laviolette. Overruled, indeed. So, Gerard Gallant. Pretty well-rounded in general. Good player management. Motivation, discipline. A bit far down. Tactics and in-game tactics are good. Prefers a physical style of play, aggressive line matching, conservative goalie handling. Okay. Personal scores an 80. Or we go for Peter Laviolette. Who obviously plays more of a defensive style, prefers veterans as well, which benefits us in some ways, at least right now. Obviously, we do have some veteran players with 262 score. Ooh. You know, I'm kind of leaning towards Peter Laviolette. Who is somehow available. So it's a tie right now between Laviolette coaching the vets or Gallant being able to coach the prospects long term. I break it fair enough. Is it 17 for coaching prospects? Laviolette? Is that a 15? So I'm going to check Daryl Sutter for the hell of it. Gerard Gallant. Congratulations. You are the new head coach, the first head coach of the Seattle Kraken. The master at coaching new expansion teams. Gerard Gallant is in. Farm boy. You'll love to see it. Boy. Chewy, thank you for the 15. 15 months there, Chewy. You'll love to see it. Very much appreciated, buddy. Thank you. Goddamn. 15. All right, let's go ahead and uh, just clear house here. We're just going to go ahead and fire... All of our assistants, and I want a brand new coaching staff from scratch that I've selected. Let's go find our assistants. I don't remember if I can hire head coaches as assistants. I can, right? Like, it's just based off of their skill level, essentially. I don't remember, though. Can I hire head coaches as assistants? I mean, regardless, we have some incredibly uh, talented options here for assistant coaches. Ron Sutter, Sergei Gonchar, Corey Schwab, John Madden, Rich Peverly. Um, the big thing here, obviously, uh, isn't down into scouting, but it's down into training. There we go. Uh, I just want to double check the miscellaneous skills as well. But yeah, we're going to be down into training. Some of these guys would make for uh, interesting scouts as well. So if in general... God, sure was a demon, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Just let me check this really quickly. Training. So for goalie coaches... We're looking at Freddie Shabbat, Jimmy Waite, Pierre Garou, Bob Mason, 
or Lee Wolf, or we go down to the very good category and hire a more notable name, which would include, holy shit, Rick Wamsley, Pete Peters, Chris Osgood, Kirk McLean, ooh, Clint Malarchuk. I respect it. I also need to base this off of coaching prospects. Head coach is one Gerard Gallant. So really quickly here, in the very good category, you know everyone's going to be very good. I need someone who's also good at coaching prospects. So Wamsley's above average. Peters is good. Osgood right now is the favorite. Osgood is the favorite, even over Malarchuk. Is it going to be Chris Osgood? Dan Cloutier. It's either Chris Osgood or Dan Cloutier. They're getting Nabokov. Ooh. Ooh, Nabokov or Osgood. That's what it comes down to. Nabokov or Osgood. People are saying Osgood. A shout out for Cloutier as well. But I'm thinking Chris Osgood just won the job of being our new goalie coach. Like, he's not the best goalie coach out there, but obviously he's going to be solid. Let's do it. For, for Deke Slayer. Chris Osgood is going to be brought on as an assistant coach here in Seattle. And he will be our goalie coach. From there, we need a defensive coach. Oh, baby. The As we have Jake the Snake drop in the prime sub. We'd love to see it. Jake, thank you. Thank you very much there, Jake. Very much appreciated. Just check this. There's a lot of guys here now for coaching defense. Looking for familiar names. So I can just hire anybody for that role, right? Yeah, I can hire anybody for that role. I don't know if someone in the owner category I'd be allowed to hire for the role. Like, I want to hire someone who's good, but I also want, like, a cool name. A lot of people excellent in coaching defense. Bob Woods is definitely up there. Fortunately, there's not a name where I'm just like, yeah, Chris Osgood, that's cool. Bearclaw. All right, what do we got in uh? What do we got in the great category. Holy shit, there's a lot of greats. Let's see what we got. Who's the coolest name that we have in the great category? Tim Sweeney. What do we got in the? Excuse me, in the great category. You know, I haven't seen uh, really any names where I'm just like, yeah, cool, this guy. I think we might just have to go for one of the guys in the uh, top half of the list. Good defensive coaches are hard to find, apparently. At least for, like, veteran names, it would be cool to sign. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I think we're just going to sign one of the best available and whoever's really good at also coaching prospects. There is just, like, nobody cool. Bill Dick. Shout out to Bill Dick. All right, who's also really good at coaching prospects here? So, Pavel Zeminski is very good. Dick Wolf. Very poor at coaching prospects, unfortunately. Uh, Peter Rusnak, Patrick Rathman. So we got here Keith Klochler, Spencer Meyer. Uh, let's just go for Spencer Meyer. He's 22 years old. He's got plenty of time to develop here. I don't want to uh, pick up anybody who's weaker in terms of that rating. Uh, just for the sake of like, oh, that's cool to have that guy. It's like, yeah, it doesn't make sense at that point. So Chris Osgood is going to be our goalie coach. Spencer Meyer will be our defensive coach. We need an offensive coach, a skill coach. 
And Whitley, Bob Woods is a wild assistant that got fired. Nice. All right, let's find ourselves an offensive coach. Uh, the filter is good. Let's go over to training. Let's look for the best offensive coaches. So in the excellent category, how many people? Holy shit, that's a ton of people. Okay, we're looking for cool names. Cool names, it's like, oh, that's fun to sign them. Uh, not really seeing them so far. Not really seeing them so far. Bob Boyce sounds familiar for some reason. Alright, there really wasn't anybody cool and excellent, but what about in great? A lot of options in great. I'm looking for cool names. Give me cool names. I mean, we started off with... Oh my god, the... I mean, we started off with Chris Osgood as our damn goalie coach. Like, I need another cool name now for our offensive coach, right? Like, I want a veteran NHLer that has, like, an extremely recognizable name. It's not looking like that's gonna happen, though. They're harder to come by here. Get alphabet soup. <laughs> There's a couple of these guys whose name is just pure alphabet soup. Hmm. Alright, let's just look here. Who's the best of the also coaching prospects? We have Andy Stafford. Peter Russell. Let's go for Peter Russell. He's a little bit younger. Congratulations, Pete. You're our new offensive coach. Congratulations, sir. Terrio, what is up, buddy? Good to see you. Peter Russell, you are our new offensive coach. We need a skill coach. Keep the change. I will. I will, sir. You watch me. You watch me grovel for that 50 cents. Fuck's sake. Thank you, though, buddy. Hope you're doing all right. Filthy animal. All right, let's see. Physical training. Who do we got? A bunch of excellence. Big thing here will probably be who is uh, good at. Co Ooh, Rick Tockett. Okay, so we do have a former NHL right out of the gates. Rick Tockett right now is the favorite. I think it's fun to hire former NHLers. And it's gonna be Rick Tockett. Didn't Rick Tockett bet on games once? Is that what I'm thinking of? 1.7. Rick Tockett, congratulations. Mr. Tockett, you are going to be our skills coach. We need a very, very good trainer, indeed. Uh, so, I mean, skills coach, now we're good. we got a goalie coach, our defensive, offensive, and skill. Uh, let's fire our trainer. Let's see who else we can find here. That would be fun. Bring in as our trainer. Um, let's just look for an outright trainer. That's probably our our best bet here. Talk I've got, uh, yeah, I thought so because I think the Steve Dingle podcast talked about it a while ago. One of the more recent podcasts. Um, I forget where to go here. Vizio. There it is. Oops. Won't be Klaus. All right, now we can uh, add these back. Let's see if we can find someone here who wants to be a good physio. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have Wajaya Sukarto, Eric Schroyer, Rustam Shiafadinov, Nikita Shaslevi, Vladimir Mershink, Mikhail Miloradovich, Alexander Makonishin, McConaughey, Ryochi Kokawa, Joe Dong, 
think I know who we're going to sign. Uh, Sergei Deniltsev, Yang Boxion, and Finley Ansley. Joe Dong, welcome to the team. You are our trainer. Mr. Dong, congratulations. Congratulations, Mr. Dong. What a guy. Our team staff is fantastic. It really is. It really is. Very happy with this. So, I mean, again, now Gerard Gallant's in as our head coach. We got Osgood as our goalie coach. Really good offensive and defensive coach. Rick Tockett as a skills coach. Like, we have a top-notch coaching staff. The big thing now will be the scouts. Uh, yeah, Dank, I, I'm aware. It's crazy, isn't it? Because he was with the Coyotes at the time. Let's go ahead and drop all of our scouts. I don't even care if they're good. I just want cool people in the job. Indeed, Sergeyev, I am home for today and uh, Saturday, and then I'm going back to the girlfriends on Sunday. <laughs> Scouting page to see where you're strong and where you're weak. Well, I mean, probably going to be everywhere, right? Uh, U.S., though? I mean, yeah, we're, you know. We need to be able to get everybody, right? <laughs> I mean, basically, we're going to want at least one scout from each spot, right? So, hire scouts. Is the target. Oof, actually, I don't want that. Let me go back to staff. I like it from that other menu. Alright. So let me get into scouting. Right. Let's see what we got here. So, evaluation ability. A lot of excellence. Cool beans. Um, unfortunately, evaluating potential is kind of rough. Uh, clearly, hopefully money is not an issue, by the way. Um, this dude is a GM, but I can get him as a scout. Brian Miller. Excellent, excellent. Which makes me feel like I'm in Bill and Ted. Let's hire Brian Miller as a scout. Hopefully I don't run out of money. If I do, I'm going to just give myself more money, because fuck it. Uh, we're going to sign Brian Miller, Luby Hurd. Signing's not possible. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of. So I had a feeling I was running out of money for the staff. Um, let's just go ahead and edit. And uh, where would I up that number? Season budget? Or is that technically cap space? Because I don't care. I just want a really good staff to check things out with the game and cheat. Let's call a spade a spade, right? I think it's in the season budget, technically. Anaheim's is around the same. Boston's is around the same. Can I even up the money? Is that even a thing that I'm allowed to do at this point? Would it technically be upping the amount of money? Didn't know you were a billionaire. Sergeyev, I mean... Climate Pledge Arena, dog. Like, you know, we're in Seattle. We got all that big money. We got Amazon money. We got Amazon money. I just need to be able to give myself more money for staffing. I just don't know how to do that. <laughs> I think it's in season budget, technically. But I don't want to do that and screw something up. Um, it's not in team data. I'm scared... Money remaining, 125k. The budget shows up as 6 mil. How do I make sure I can give myself more money for staff? Otherwise, I mean, we well overspent. Um, I mean, who needs scouts, though? You know? How the hell do I give myself more money? Uh, I don't know what to do. Can I even give myself more money? feel like I should be able to. Like, that's definitely a thing that I should be able to do, right? I just don't know where to go. It's season budget because cap space is limited by the league. Okay, see, that's what I thought. 
Alright, season budget. Uh, let's just go up to, uh, 100 million dollars. 90s references, aren't they great? Uh, staff. It still says I only have 125k. Uh-oh. <laughs> I might not be able to afford scouts. <laughs> um, I'm officially scared, guys. I might not be able to hire scouts. Because we have an amazing staff. Did I give it to the Habs or did it reset? Hold on. Edit. No, it's it's there for us. It just goes back to the Habs anytime I do anything. Advance a day. That's probably a safe bet. It's probably a safe bet. Hopefully it goes through. Ooh, yeah, it still hasn't gone through. Okay, what if I go back into options, turn off commissioner mode? How I go there? Yeah, it's still only 125k. Unless it did go to the Habs, but I'm 99% sure it didn't. Edit. Teams. I mean, the Habs are at 102. I didn't set it to 102. Like, they were just there to begin with. Um, I might not be able to up my money total. I might not be able to up my money. 150 million dollars. Please. Please let me cheat. I can't cheat. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Okay, um... I'm just trying to cheat so I can have, like, a cool staff to see what the effect of it is. That's all. Damn it. Um... I don't know what to do. What do I do? What are those? Just go to scouts and add the... That's, I'm in commissioner mode. I've been in commissioner mode the whole time. Fuck. I'm officially afraid. The game won't let me cheat. <laughs> Um, excuse me. I'm a billionaire. I'm allowed to cheat. Thank you. It won't let a common pleb like me cheat. <laughs> let me cheat. What? There has to be an answer. Can you force hire the scouts for a dollar? No. It won't even let me do anything about it. Ah. Uh. I don't know what to do. Help. <laughs> Adding to the season budget hasn't done anything. I'm going to drop it back down to like 90, which is where it was. Um, Screw the rules. I have money. Exactly. I'm an American billionaire. Deal with it. Um, retire players. Release players. Uh-huh. I don't think I could cheat, so I have, like, no way to actually get scouts. I just want to have cool scouts, man. That's it. Um... I don't know what to do. I just want to have cool scouts. And see, like, how that system works. There's got to be a way to do it, right? There's got to be a way to do this. You go know, to the scouts page and add their contract data. Uh, let me check. I didn't mean to go from here, but that's okay. Kraken, staff, god damn lemonade there's got to be an answer here there's got to be an answer I don't know what that answer is other than I'm fucked but there's got to be an answer 
Okay, everyone else... Uh, okay, now everyone's showing up at zero dollars. Hold on. What? What? They're showing up at zero dollars, but then when I try to sign them, it's not letting me sign them. I'm so confused. Is it just because they're not, like, defined as scouts? Brock Costello. Okay, we got it. It's because they weren't set up as scouts. Although I think I could afford Brock Costello anyway. So maybe not. Damn it. I thought we had it figured out, but we don't. Shit. Shit. I just want to have more money. It's the American dream. There's got to be a way. Just scout's name to go to their page and see if you can edit them from that page. That is a smart idea. We're going to figure this out, chat. We're going to figure this out. Okay. Might be able to do this. We might be able to do this. There might just be hope yet. Can't believe it, but there might just be hope yet. Can I sort by... Based in. Oh boy. Active personnel. That's fine. I didn't mean to click on Baxter. Please tell me it's sort of good. Alright, Louie heard. Edit. Aha! We did it. We did it, chat. Let me heard. Come on down to the Kraken. For one dollar, Bob. For the next 100 years. 10 years. As a scout. For a dollar. I crashed the game. <sighs> okay. That idea is not going to work. Fuck. <laughs> We're not allowed to cheat. I'm very good at crashing video games. <laughs> Regardless of console, I'm very good at crashing games. Some would call it my specialty. Some would call it my specialty. Fuck. Hope you saved. Uh, it saved as of the 7th, so yeah, we're basically like right there. We're still on the same thing of uh, setting up the scouting, so. Alright, so. Mission remote on. Staff. Shit. So nothing about the staff saved. Nothing about the staff saved. All of our prospects are still there, and that's cool. Um, we are going to have to send out some contracts again, I think. But for the most part, we're right where we want to be. Okay, so staff. Shit. Can I fire my owner? No. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's let's just let's just. Damn it! Hopefully, everybody that I wanted is still there. Shit. Yeah, that's that's the play now. Is hire people and then just drop their salary to dirt. That is the tactic. Hopefully, everyone I was looking at is still there. I don't remember all the names though. So this will be, uh, this will be interesting. Alright, free agents. Let's, let's try this again. Let's try this again. So, first and foremost, let's go to training. Let's go over to training. Coaching goalies. 
Where is the one and the only? Chris Haas, good. Uh huh. I no longer see Chris Osgood as an option. Huh. Ugh, I don't see Osgood as an option anymore. That's unfortunate. Why isn't Osgood an option anymore? All right, screw it. Well, the cool memes of signing people, it's just, fuck it, whatever. Who's good at coaching prospects here? Very good. Great. Anybody better than great? Excellent. You. How would you like to be my new assistant coach, Peter Suchek? Back over to team staff, Peter Suchek. You get to be the new goalie coach. In fact, I'm like this four years, so the ten years probably did it. Fair enough. You get to make one dollar, Bob. Don't crash. Cool. Peter Suchek's now making a dollar. <laughs> I'll teach you. I'll teach you, video game. Alright. Yeah. Reputation. Uh oh. Uh oh. I know. I I no longer see Gerard Galan as our head coach. He is no longer an option. I don't know what happened. Nope, there he is. He's right. He's second from the top. I am blind. Let's go ahead and sign Gerard Gallant. Be our head coach. Blind as a bat. My union's person. All right, Gerard. I mean, at this point, really, you should just be thankful that you're in the league. A lot of teams let you go for no reason. We'll gladly sign you and then pay for a cab out of here. All right, this is beautiful. We found a wonderful workaround. I'm paying them an experience, okay? You can't get this you, you can't get this fucking experience everywhere. Not even close. I'm paying them an experience. Just because you couldn't do the job. Uh, congratulations to this dude. You are now gonna be our new defensive coach. Oh boy. Paying them an exposure. Exactly. See, you get it. You get it. This team is going to be bonkers, by the way. You can't buy food and exposure. No, but you can raise a Stanley Cup. Is it worth the risk? You decide. I just want to see how much of a difference it has to make, like, an incredible, you know, to have this, like, incredible top of the line can only get it by cheating staff. You know? You'll work, you'll work and live at the arena. Exactly! Doesn't that sound fun? To live in an arena that was like built in the 80s for a basketball team that's not even there anymore? Sorry, Sonics fans. Save our Sonics. Grigory Kuznetsov, congratulations. You are going to be our new offensive coach. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's the internship. Again, exposure. It's all about exposure. Well, we don't have as many cool names to uh, to boast on this coaching staff, but the coaching staff is now, like, outrageous. Hey, you know what, though? Free catering. Free catering. We're not going to charge you. You can eat as much as you want at catering. Because, again, you live in the arena. Everything's fine. I fail to see the problem here. I fail to see the problem. What problem could somebody possibly have? 
Uh, I forgot what physical trainers need to have. Fuck. Just trainer skill, and then we need a skill coach. Yeah, that's what it is. Physical training, coaching prospects, those are the two important ones. Physical training. Get that to excellent, and then we need whoever here might also be a totally excellent. Alright, no totally excellent. Very good, very good. Great. Go for Ken Palmer. Ken Palmer. You'll love to see it. Who needs health insurance when you can raise the Stanley Cup? Exactly. Do you want to live your dream? Come to Seattle. <laughs> if you want to live your dream, come to Seattle. If you want to be paid, whatever that means, go somewhere else, nerd. We're in the business of winning. That's all there is to it. We are in the business of winning. Alright, we need a trainer, and then we need our scouts, and then we're good. Uh, have health care. Yeah, you would, you nerd. <laughs> have health care. This is America. What health care? the hell out of here. Health, health care. Oh, Joe Dong. Bring on Joe Dong. I'm going to pay Joe Dong, because why would I not? All right, so now we get to hire some scouts. Cool. Scout number one is going to be Ryan Miller out in California. Uh, let's also go for Louie Heard. I don't know where Ludzis is. It's in Latvia, apparently. Go ahead and sign you. Wait until the money dries up. California! So many California scouts, by the way. Actually, let's go back to team staff really quickly. Eh, I still got 2.8 million. Just enough time to tell Louie Heard to get paid $4. <laughs> $4. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, $4. That is just delightful. Mr. Kalnars, I mean, you're on Latvia, so the exchange range, uh, exchange rate bumps you up to six dollars. Congratulations. Oh boy, Bellflower, California. Bellflower. You can also get paid six dollars, Mr. Miller, and Hector Pena get $67, because he's a Leafs fan. And Joe Dong, you can get $6. It's beautiful. Okay, uh, so I want to go to scouting really quickly. So in the U.S., oops, in the U.S., Oh, well, that's nice done on that, isn't it? Oops. So we got Brian Miller. Oh, wait, so can I only have one scout in the U.S.? I'm confused. If I can drag the scouts from the list below to fill advance, so I have a scouting role. Name someone as the head scout from the competition. Set your team priority in the prior. I'm confused. I don't know how this works. Help. <laughs> Click and drag scouts from the list below to fill the head scout role. Alright, so I mean, I guess I'd want Miller on head scout. And Pena on advanced scout. So I guess that's what I want. Is Miller and Pena. Since they're my best two American scouts. So obviously it just means anybody out in California, we're good. Anywhere else, we're okay. So anybody scouted in the Pacific region is going to be sweet. And I can still have scouts that are good in the other regions, right? So in Canada, 
Uh, or not. So then Brian... Oh, shit. I thought I'd have one head scout per region. Ooh. Alright, so I'd probably want Louis Heard then, as my Canadian advance scout. Maybe? I'm so confused. I I am admittedly confused as shit at this new setup. <laughs> I am very confused. What has the many other scouts? I mean, fair, but what's with the advanced scout? That's what I'm confused by. What the hell is the advanced scout? It's just weird, man. It's just weird. Let's see, scouting. Mr. Rice. How are you as a scout? Mr. Tapio Weitz. And scout. As a scout. The scout's a financial team. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Fair enough. Keep hiring scouts here. Keep handing out them dollar bills. I will. One dollar bill at a time. Just you watch. Just you watch. One dollar bill at a time, buddy. There's a stripper joke to be made there. We're not gonna make it. It's fine. Definitely not gonna make it. Potential now. John Grow. What a name. Don't have the money to sign him. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I get paid 615. <laughs> Am I going to take a pay cut? Nope. This dude's name is Bent. <laughs> There's a joke to be made there about the fact that I'm about to pay him $6. <sighs> oh, Bent Jitson. Sean Larson. No money for you. Who else has the audacity to make money on my team? How dare you. Who else has the audacity to make money on my team? That is not what happens here. That is not what happens here. <laughs> Whatever money's left, give yourself a raise. I think I will. I think I will. That's a great idea. I deserve it. I've worked hard this year. You know, while everyone else is sitting at home because they're scared of COVID, I was out there breaking my back and hustling and quadrupling my net worth off the back of others. <laughs> you know how hard it is to watch people sacrifice their lives to improve my net worth? That's fucking busy work. That is busy work right there. This one day I got tired before noon. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god, I love this. This has very quickly turned into uh, Jeff Bezos Simulator, and I'm on board. <laughs> I'm on board. Jeff Bezos Simulator is fun. Oh, it's fun being obnoxiously rich and not treating other people with respect. I can see why he does it. Uh, yeah, someone with average I'm not interested in. You better be the best of the best, damn it. Oh, I did not click on your name. How did that happen? Ah! I'm gonna end up paying employees in Seattle. Crack and fit right in. Right? He's in his prime, after all. I don't know. I'm ashamed of you. Thank you. Nikolai Palmer. He's the Russian version of Palmer. Please edit owner name to Jeff Bezos. <laughs> I really should, shouldn't I? By the way, am I gonna lose my am I gonna lose my check mark for making Jeff Bezos jokes on this platform? I might. 
And if so, chat, it's been a hell of a ride. It's been a hell of a ride. And Jeff, if you're watching, use your Prime sub, please. Don't forget Prime subs, chat. Jeff, Jeff would drop his Prime sub. Oh, shit. That's well, he might get $7 next year. Oh, uh, can I edit? Oh, fuck yeah, I can. Jeff Bezos. Perfect. Oh, Jeff, how old are you? You bald fuck. 56. 56. Date of birth. January 12th of 64. From lovely Albuquerque, Turkey, New Mexico. I tried to spell Albuquerque without look without looking, and I am now embarrassed. Based in Washington. Reputation of 48, that sounds about right. Confidence in GM? Through the roof, baby. Through the roof. You have all the confidence in me. All the confidence. I don't see the attribute for paying his, uh, his employees. There we go. Jeff Bezos, team owner. Perfect. We did it. We did it, chat. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh, what a world we live in. Yeah. Nikolai, you get a whole $4. But those are Bezos bucks, baby. $4 in Bezos bucks might as well be like 500000 You can take more pride in those Bezos bucks, though, as opposed to working for Elon Musk. Because then you'd just be working for a douche. At least Jeff Bezos pays out. Where's the tax evasion skills? <laughs> Van Buren, Maine. Is that even a place? I live here. I am in the state of Maine as I speak. I don't know if Van Buren is actually a place. Ah, uh, Furman, probably. I mean, I understand why they're asking for the money that they're asking for. But the problem is, they also have those really frickin' good stat numbers, so it's like, yeah, yeah obviously I'm gonna hire you, even if, you know, you're not an actual scout. You're good at scouting, so... San Antonio, Texas. Sean Michaels. Perfect. Because if you ever see someone from San Antonio, it must be Sean Michaels. See, I haven't been that far north in my own state because there's fucking nothing up there. Except potatoes and a shitload of woods. Just nothing but the woods. <laughs> Razor, I love you. <laughs> that is my favorite quote in all of wrestling. Meet me at the Alamo. High noon. Hickenbottom. Levesque. <laughs> it's the best. God, I love that era. It was so bad. It was good camping. Oh, yeah, well, Northern Maine is great if you like to go camping or go out on a lake like Moosehead. But there's, there's fuck all up there. Fuck all up there. If that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for fuck all, that's Northern Maine for you. Like, you know. Again, we've talked about this, and I will continue to talk about it at all times. Right? I'll continue to talk about it. Here we go. The lovely map of Maine, right? So, down here at the bottom, you start in York County. Work your way up to Portland. You can hit Auburn. If you want, you could technically say Skowhegan, Waterville, but mainly it's York County, Portland, up to Auburn, Augusta, and then into Bangor, and then straight down the coast. So, basically, this loop right here, and then there's fucking nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. 
Oxford County is only known for a fucking racetrack. Franklin County has Farmington. There's a college there. That's about it. There's basically nothing. And again, like, northern Oxford County, northern Franklin County, northern Somerset County. Fucking nothing. Nothing. Piscataquis County? Nothing. Dover Foxcroft has a high school that got pooped on all the time. Especially by my high school, so fuck Dover Foxcroft. Penobscot County, this fuck all. Once you go north, west, east of Bangor. Aroostook County, there's, there's nothing. You know when you're naming a town Caribou or Melanocket? There's Van Buren. It's literally the northernest spot, basically. Presque Isle. Did I just rant on mute that entire time? I didn't. Okay. I don't know why I hit mute there. Um, how long was I muted for? Who the hell even knows? I'm tired. Um, we heard most of it. Good. Point is, there's nothing. It's like the rock and the hurricane in a backstage segment on Raw in 2003. There's nothing. Absolutely fuck all. God. Susan Collins' spine is located in Northern Maine. Susan Collins doesn't have a spine. Can you make me a scout, please? <laughs> Frank, I, I honestly could. Alright, we basically have the best scouts available, too. Alright, well, Frank, congratulations. You're going to get paid $6. Do I really want to start this? No. But there we go. Frank Grimes. The lovely German scout. Prescott has the university that was aggressively trying to recruit me. TK, you probably did the right thing not going. You probably did the right thing not going. Big spender, Frank Crimes. Capricious of Tugi staff. Well, hold on. I've yet to get my holiday bonus. I've yet to get my holiday bonus, guys. So let's not, let's not make assumptions here. All right. Let's not make assumptions. I mean, I worked hard this year, too. Now, talk about these scouts and the work they put in. I worked hard this year, too, okay? Let's not forget that. Alright, Harleen. Harleen. Get out of here, Harleen. And, uh, bada bing bada boom, Chet. I hired a Chet. You get $61. Which means there's 5.2 million awaiting me. There we go. My holiday bonus kicked it. See, chat, hard work pays off. <laughs> Form of a fifty-eight million dollar salary, or a five uh, point eight million dollar salary. Oh, baby. Okay. So now we go back to scouting. Brian Miller, I want to have as my uh, head scout here, and uh, from there, Louis can be the other one. That's fine. We don't need to hire scouts. But we do need to go to priorities, I guess. Oh God. I'm so confused. Oh, okay. So player type. Ah. Uh, I'm so confused. Alright, so I know it's saying, like, oh, prioritize the watch list. Just prioritize prospects. The international tournaments. Other leagues, then my watch list, then the free agent list. Alright. Let's go with that. Uh, let's prioritize Canada, the US, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, rest of the world. In terms of the regions, prioritize New England, baby. Alright, that works.
works. As long as you're saying specifically to scout. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that all that often, but bump it up. Okay, and then actual scouting. How do I uh, go back and set scouts, though? Because I have my advanced scout and everything. Okay, so just everything's in blue. I think I'm good. Like, everything's in blue. I think it just rates, like, my total ability, right? Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Like, everything's in blue. <laughs> I guess it just bases it off the quality of the scouts now, huh? And save game. Cool. Yeah, for scouting assignment is your assistant, so you just gotta get everything in blue. So, cool. So we should be fine then. Should be fine. Okay. Uh, let's advance a day. I don't know how much longer I'm streaming for at this rate. This has been uh, time consuming. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so Gusev ended up signing. Which is good news. And then again, now we have the upcoming draft evaluations. Uh, Matthew Savoy, add the watch list. Shane Wright. Alright, I don't want to do this for everybody. I really don't. So I'm probably not going to do it. At least at the moment. Let's go next day. Once more. Alright, still nothing there yet. Still waiting for other contracts to come through here. Uh, Mikhail Grigorenko went to Minnesota. Alright. Dick move. Dick move, Grig. Dick move. Tanner Pearson went to Chicago. Jordan Martinick to Washington. Yeah. Back to the free agent center, then. So yeah, now I do need to go out and sign goalies. That is the thing I gotta redo is uh, resend out some contract offers. So, goalers. Again, we'll try to go for Hogberg. Still not looking for that much. Go for Mike Robinson. We should be okay there. And I gotta re offer out all of these contracts. Uh, Christian Juice. Should be able to sign pretty much no problem. Jordan Oosterle. Wants a no trade, that's fine. Go for Miko Lettinen again. Sign that'd be pretty fun. Postma. And then again, Arcandre Gragnani. Just up to 41. Now we just need some forwards to help fill out the roster, and we are golden. Alright, so we got Tyler Ennis. We can bring him in. I'm trying to remember who else had relatively cheap contracts. Find a zingle. Had a pretty cheap contract. I think that was it. I'm gonna uh, sim ahead here and see what we got. Let's see, auto save kicks in again. Yeah, I'm gonna focus on getting people onto those other offers later on. Nobody signed, which is fine. Continue. I'll start putting people on the uh, on the watch list soon. See, Postma signed, Osterle, Hogberg, Robinson. Big trade. Elias Lindholm in a fifth for Sean Walker and the rights to Kyle Kukin. Elias Lindholm dealt to the Kings. Crazy. Crazy changes there. 
Um, also, scouting set up to be the assistant. That's worth it. Uh, the training, lineup and tactics, roster moves is all me. Uh, again, the jersey numbers needs to be assistant. We're good to go there. So yeah, big trade there with Elias Lindholm on the move. In the middle of free agency. Tyler Ennis signs, Greg Gnani. Stop telling me players need to be assigned numbers they don't. Oh my god, just leave me alone about the damn numbers. Leave me alone. Let's see, let me go back over here. Up organization. I mean, we're still looking really good, like, despite the Brent Burns trade earlier on. Goalie-wise, we're fine. We do have that shortage on the right-hand side, but we have people who can play dual position. So, the last thing to worry about, free agent center, still on 42 contracts. Big thing here is probably just a few more forwards to help fill out the roster. Just whoever we can get. I mean, I got 17 million in cap space, so for some of these dudes who are a bit overvalued, we can just go for it. Oh, I wish there were dudes from other leagues. It'd be even better. Uh, so let's see who we like the most. Uh, Wenberg. Does Wenberg play wing? Yes, Wenberg plays all three board positions. Well, it's four million for three years. Gonna meet the demand, but then drop it down to one year. Really wants that extra year. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna sign prospects. Ah, I mean, I genuinely don't think any of them are good enough to be AHLers. Jackson's half a star. Jeez, Lavelle's gonna be even worse. Cordlow's a star. We're just waiting for Janssen Falby to sign. He just never did. It just says, do you want to match this offer? And every time I hit yes, it's just he needs to accept. Yeah, Isaac Rosen's a star and a half, but we'll hold off on bringing him over. Let him play in Sweden for the year. So, not too much we can do aside from wait for Janssen Falby to sign. And then looking at the forwards again here. Matt Calvert, how much are you looking for? Eat the man, drop it down to one year. Yeah, you're not getting that extra year. These guys are being ridiculous. Matthew Perot wants a one year deal. We'll give it to him. Yogstad wants a three year deal. That's not going to happen. Derry, an early Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for the 16th. How's it going, buddy? I hope you've been well. I'll try to pay attention not below these negotiations here. Uh, me demand for Mika. Let's try one year. Nope. You guys aren't getting the multi-year deals. You get big money for one year, and then you fuck off on my team. Dominic Simone. Nope. We're gonna have to figure it out here. Maryland home. Three-year deal. That's not gonna happen. Wenberg wanted the three year. That's not going to happen. Jimmy VC wants two years, which isn't going to happen. Looks like he's willing to accept the one year deal. VC also dropped his offer or his uh, request for a no trade. Because let's be honest, it was ridiculous. Subscribe. Perfect, right? And then Teddy Bluger. No. There, it just leaves us with a bunch of two-star guys that I'll be able to sign later. Let's march on. Uh, Matthew Perot ended up signing, which is nice. He can just be uh, a random fill-in player for us here. Don't need too much out of him, really. Done for the year. Just don't get fair enough, there. Fair enough. That's it. Wow, it's 2.30 already. Almost 2.40. Jesus. Jesus. Let's see. Wow. Elvis Merzlikens is gone. So is Peter Tome. Or Tom, perhaps. 
for Nikita Nestorenko. So a two and a half star prospect traded to Minnesota for Elvis Merzlikens. Wow. And Par Lindholm went to Calgary instead. We're seeing a couple of big offseason trades here. Wenberg went to Tampa, whatever. Pit won the Stanley Cup. Indeed they did. Indeed they did. First time we ran it, it was actually Vancouver who beat Toronto, but had to lose that save file, unfortunately. Still trying. Still tragic, man. We'll never forget. We will never forget, I tell you. Alright, what do we got? Uh, Edmonton signed Konovalov. Dylan DeMello has traded one for one for Yaroslav Halak, and we get our July scouting update from Brian Miller who has Shane Wright still as the number one, Max Domestikoff, Matthew Savoy, Pano Famis, Ryan Donovan. Go ahead and add all these dudes to the watch list, even though the AI... We're going to have the AI set to handle the scouting, because why would I not? We have an ungodly uh, scouting department because of me. Eh, firm not really. I mean, I overlooked it, too. It's just a real... Unfortunate. Cameron Van Sickle might be my favorite name on earth. Cameron Van Sickle. God, I can't believe this is our uh, our starting team. It's pretty sick. Can't wait to see what Gerard Gallant does with it. Uh, we still have 14 million in cap space. Let's see if anybody's kind of given in. Nope, for the most part, they still haven't given in. So we'll wait until the preseason, basically. Hall of Fame induction is coming up here, I think, tomorrow. August 1st. As Gragnani's lost a bit on his offensive read and hitting. Holpe's lost a bit on his leadership. As the Bruins, after moving Halak, acquire Thomas Grice for Alex Kokolchev. Alex Kokolchev is back. He'll be with Detroit. And chat, we go to the Hall of Fame induction. Here we go. So it's between Boris Mikhailov, Marco Tulola, Jan Latvala, Pierre Turgeon, Jeremy Roenick, Bernie Nichols, Vinny Domfus, Rod Brindamore, Daniel Alfredson, Doug Mons, Sergey Gonchar, Matthew Schneider, Theo Fleury, Dave Taylor, Brian Prop, Gary Suter, and Roman Hammerlick. Only four can make it into the Hockey Hall of Fame. The first induction of the 2021 class is Pierre Turgeon from 87 to 06. Just under 1,300 games played, over 500 goals, 23-year career for six different teams, most notably for the Blues and the Sabres. Never won a title, never won a league award either, but Pierre Turgeon has made the Hall of Fame. I don't know why McGillney is not there. He'll probably be there next year. Inductee number two, Bernie Nichols. 18-year, actually 23-year career, seven different teams, most notably for the Kings. Over almost 1,200 games played, over 500 goals. Ten-time uh, suited up for Team Canada. Inductee number three, Jeremy Roenick. Jeremy Roenick makes the Hall of Fame. 500 goals, over 1,300 games played in a 22-year career, most notably with Chicago and Arizona. Never won a title. Not bad. And of course, won an Olympic silver medal. And the final Hall of Famer in 2021 is Vinny Domfus. Wow. The only one of the bunch to not score 500 goals. Wow. 20 year career, most notably, of five different teams for the Habs and the Leafs. Vinny Domfus in the Hall. So your 2021 Hall of Famers. Pierre Turgeon, Bernie Nichols, Jeremy Roenick, and Vinny Adam Foos. No Rod Brindamore, no Daniel Alfredson, no Boris Mikhailov or Sergei Gonchar. Interesting. There were some uh, notable, 
Notable uh, names that didn't make it. I mean, alongside the notable names that did, but still. That is uh, interesting. That's how I'm going to phrase that. As Jonathan Bergren has been traded. Wow, Dominic Kubalik got dealt. The Detroit Red Wings. Steve Eiserman wheeling and dealing Dominic Kubalik to the Detroit Red Wings. After a 35 goal season in Chicago, Dominic Kubalik has been dealt for Jonathan Bergren, a prospect from the Red Wings. Interesting. Chicago is like, oh, we got this cool young player from overseas. Let's immediately trade him. Tough to say it's unrealistic. <laughs> oh, Chicago. Why must you suck? Why must you suck so much? Oh, God, that's a huge trade, too. I can't wait to see what some of these rosters look like at the start of the season. Probably have to check it out tomorrow, but... I at least want to get a look at what our team will be. Like I said, very intrigued as well since we've left the coaching duties to Gallant to see what he does with the team. Very intrigued. Let's see, by the way, I might uh, quickly watch two bounties to pick up a random amount of money. Make like 20 bucks for no reason. Oh, baby. Might be the way to end the stream. To be a sellout, you know. It's clearly the way. It's clearly the way. We got nothing going on here heading into the preseason, so. Only three minor emails. There might have been another trade or something. There's not much going on for the Kraken. What's Kraken? Not much. That's the answer. That is the answer, chat. Almost to September. Not sure what the uh, calendar, the schedule looks like here, but we're just about there. So why'd you need to restart? Uh, because with the initial expansion draft, we forgot to set it so that you could only take one player uh, per team. Uh, so we could have like completely robbed like Nashville. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were going to play NASCAR after 45 minutes. We didn't. Uh, let's see. The Hurricanes... Send Jesper Foss to Florida from Marcus Nudivara. Buffalo trades Zemgus Gergensons to Minnesota for goalie prospect Philip Lindbergh. Islanders trade Cal Clutterbuck and Thomas Hickey to Chicago for Matthew Highmore. So lose Kubelik, get Cal Clutterbuck. John Carlson had a good workout in the offseason. Uh, Nico Sturm dealt from Toronto. To Arizona for Nick Yalmerson. So Adam Wilde's happy. Nick Yalmerson finally uh, remembered the Leafs. The Oilers... The Oilers trade Darnell Nurse. One for one. For Rupe Hints. There have been some interesting trades this offseason. And final... Holy shit. Eunice Brodeen and a fourth round pick for the rights to Peter Reynolds... And Semyon Chisyakov. There have been some crazy deals. Peter Reynolds and Semyon Chisyakov. Or Chisyakov. For Eunice Brodeen. We got our scouting update. They still have Shane Wright as the number one at the moment. Best free agents available right now. Let's go talk to Mr. Eric Sinek here. Ah, he's an RFA. Alright, well, let's not do that then. It's a six, not a four. Ah, well. Can't blame being tired. Can we get Travis Sandheim, or is he also an RFA? He's also an RFA. Both the EFA they just got in for an the watch list. Noted. I mean, in fairness, it does handle it themselves, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do it, why not? Uh, just get the full reports here. 
take advantage of this guy in the front. It's just tedious, so there really should be a button to just be like, hey, add all of these dudes to the watch list, please. That would be the happiest boy. Or just have there be like a little check mark. Oh, boy. Okay, think. Think. Gotten everybody? Hopefully. Please, God. I think we've gotten everybody. Maybe. Jesus, there's so many people. So many people. You keep scouting these boys, damn it. Oh, good! Because the AI you. is like removing them from the watch list, too. <laughs> so. Oh, shout the big nose. Appreciate the follow. Uh, Preseason starts on September 6th. We might as well get there. See what happens. And then call it a stream. Can't have streamers misspeaking on here, right? Fair enough. About the grade, by the way. Fair enough. What do we got? Call number four and Axel. Yombi. Princess Screening Atkinson lists the strength. Casey Middlestat stays in Buffalo. Duly noted. Duly noted indeed. Oscar Clefbaum for Dylan Garand. The Oilers have traded Darnell Nurse and Oscar Clefbaum in the same offseason. They get the rights to goaltending prospect Dylan Garand. This Oilers team is going to be very interesting to look at at the start of the season. Eric Sinek stays with Philadelphia. Oh, dude, that Oilers defense has a chance of being absolutely brutal to start the 21-22 season as we have hit the beginning of the preseason. Please set your captains. Adrian Kempe has been dealt one for one for Evgeny Dodonov. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, so really quickly here, because we're in the preseason. Can I, uh... I was going to say, if I send down Braden Holpe even in the preseason, is he going to get mad? Before I do anything, if I send down, or technically send down veterans even in the preseason in this game, do people get mad? That's the real question. Before I do that and make a, a bad mistake. So I'd like to call up some of these prospects and get them playing time here in this preseason. You know? I would really like to do that. I think that they do. Alright, cool, so we'll leave it. Uh, although Ottinger, you know, I am going to send down Hogberg. And we're going to send up Ottinger. And give him the opportunity to win that starting, or the backup job here in the preseason. Although, well, I guess you could argue. Just let him have the uh, AHL starting spot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Andre Gragnani. We go down to the minors. Forward wise. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ideally, we'd still find somebody else. Dramage, what's going on here? Dude, some of these guys are just. Like, not giving up on trying to get these big money deals. It's ridiculous. Alright, I guess screw the, uh, the three stars, then. Or the two and a half stars. Just show me the, uh... Show me the two stars. Show me the two stars, please. I can bring in to help fill out a roster. Brandon Peary. 
Two year deal. Whatever. I'll do that. Try to sign Brandon Peary. Let's try to find Sven Berchke. I'm willing to sign Sven Berchke. Give him an AHL deal for a couple of seasons. What else can we bring in? I like Kevin Stenland. Used him in franchise mode before. And... I mean, clearly Anthony Greco for the speed. We're going to have a rapid AHL team. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm just going to trust the NHL team the way it's set up. I'll trust in it. So our team heading into this preseason game, I mean, it's it's a little bit shaky, let's be honest. But we have Gusev Larson Atkinson, Ennis Patrick Perot, McCann Heedle VC, Janssen Benson Abramoff. Defense is Riley Graves, McDonough Eckholm, Letty and Pellick. Of course, Holtby and Hogberg as the backups. I am not allowed to adjust the goalie starts at all. That's completely up to our coach. Does Greco have the right speed? Ah, he's a little bit slow. <laughs> he's a little bit slow, to be fair. <laughs> Alright, so we signed a bunch of vets. This team looks like they are ready to go for the start of their first season. It took a while, as it does in this game. But it looks like we are set for our inaugural season. We have a top-notch staff. Our first preseason game is against Vegas, so what we'll do... So when we come back with this probably tomorrow night, uh, we'll see how our first season goes. Again, we have a ridiculous coaching staff. We'll see how Gerard Gallant can do at the helm of this team. Obviously, uh, we still need work, and I can't help but think that, uh, you know, we might end up putting some of our vets, you know, on the trade block just to see what we can get. Give us one preseason game. Alright, I'll give you the preseason game against Vegas, but we're going to quick sim it. We're going to quick sim it. Let's see how we do in our first ever preseason game. Okay, we're going to quick sim it, though. Opening goal went to Vegas. Didn't even see who got it. Opening goal for Vegas. Or not, it's the first period. I thought they scored early. My bad, it was over here. There it is, Shea Theodore. Gets the opening goal of the game. Back home to the box. Max Pacioretty scores. Jared McCann has the first ever goal for the Kraken. It's in the preseason. But Jared McCann, with that goal, Tyler Benson scores to tie it up at two apiece. This is preseason hockey, all right. We go to the second period, tied it to a piece. Jared McCann scores again. What a pickup Jared McCann's looking like. 3-2 Seattle. We go to the third here. It's looking good. Nikita Gusev makes it 4-2. Let's go. Let's go, dude. It's only the preseason. Jonathan March so just fractured his elbow, but the Seattle Kraken win their first ever game, preseason or not, 4-2 to two in the battle of the new expansion teams over the Vegas Golden Knights. March so is going to be out for three months. And Tyler Benson's improving at right wing, because again, you can play people in an improper position to improve them. So I trust what Gerard Gallant has set up here. I'm very intrigued to see what could happen this season. Very, very intrigued. Again, we'll get a full look at everything else that's going on around the league. Our first full season. Of course, excited to see as well how the draft is going to go for us. Um, if we look down at the bottom here, central scouting. I mean, right now, you know, we kind of got our eyes on 
some of these top players and how good they could be, so I'm intrigued. We'll pay attention to this list as best we can. It might not be as stacked of a draft as it was, but I am uh, intrigued to see how this goes. Me too in your life. I always do. I always do. You can follow me on Twitter, the Discord. Uh, again, always gives out a link when we're live. But yeah, season one with the Kraken, tomorrow.